Scoop is an online curation tool that allows you to bring together a bunch of internet resources into one place and easily access them. On the screen here I've got some of the resources that I used in week two of my introductory remote sensing class and as you can as you scroll down you can see that there's a bunch of different things that I've pulled together about a set topic. So students can come to this page and click on any of these topics which are links to those particular websites. So rather than just have a, a flat page with blue links uh, just, at, just as text base, this gives you a much more visual way of looking at the materials. So one thing that you can see as you hover over a particular scoop is that you see this grey bar at the bottom appear and it says reaction. Now a reaction allows you to comment basically. So if I click on that there, you can see that one of the students has reacted to that particular topic that I've scooped. I can also add another reaction if I like by just typing my comment in that particular text box down the bottom. Now you do need to be logged in to be able to see the reaction and post something as well. So you can see that I'm logged in because I've got my name up in this upper right hand corner as well. So if I then, I'm then doing an internet search and I see other websites that I'd like to scoop, so perhaps this NASA one, all I need to do is to copy the web address and then come back to my Scoop It page and then go to New Scoop. So once I click on that, I can add that internet address into that in the text box just below and it will get information about that particular site that it's going to now add to my Scoop It page. So you can see there's an image there that you can edit that image you'd like. if you'd like. You can add some information about the content and also your insight. So perhaps why it is that you actually included that particular website onto your Scoop It page. Once you're happy with that, then you can just hit publish and then it will appear on your site. So what I've been getting students to do is to create a Scoop It page and then to post that so it's available for other students to react to. So what I've done is to use a Padlet tool here. So this is Padlet.com and you can see that students have already posted a number of different scoops on different topics related to remote sensing that they're interested in. So all that they needed to do was simply find a spare space on the canvas and double click. And as they double click, they can write their name in and I'll just add that I'm putting some remote sensing resources up there for them. And I can either type something in here, so some information about what I'm about to post, or I can just go directly to this link button here. And as I do that, it will give, give me some space to add in a URL. So what I want for that to be is the URL of my Scoop It page. So I've just copied that, and I can paste that in there, and as I hit Add, you'll see that it brings up a thumbnail of what my Scoop It page looks like. So any student then coming to this page will just be able to hover over my post or any of the other students' posts and go directly to their Scoop It page. So I can then go in and edit that if I need to or delete it as well if that's not what I like. And so the students can't delete my posts and they can't delete each other's. They can only de delete their own that they've posted but I can delete anything as the owner of this particular site. So then what students needed to do is to go in and pick a particular scooped page that one of, their, one of their peers had done and then go in and provide some comment about that. So say I'm interested here in Laura's Marine Remote Sensing page, I can just click on the link there and it will take me directly to her Scoop It site here. So you can see she's curated a number of different topics and provided insights on them. And so then what I can do is I can also comment on hers so I can provide a reaction based on something that she's posted there. Also if I see something that I really like of hers and I think actually that would be really good on my own site and I'd like to keep that as my own resource, you'll see there's this option here to scoop it yourself. So if you click on that then you can, re then you can curate it back to your scoop it page as well. The other thing that's quite cool is that you can suggest something to, to the curator of this particular site. So perhaps you've seen something that you think might be useful for them to include on their site. You can just click on suggest and then 
put the link in there for them to include on their own page. So that's a little bit about how Padlet and Scoop It can be used together and you can actually see that it's, that it's quite simple once you know the buttons to click and work through.